Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Taylor. Today's video is something I am so excited for. I am going to be showing you guys how to make thumbnails or like how I make my personal like style of thumbnails or just like in general, some apps you can use to make some great thumbnails. It was just something I really struggled with when I first started making YouTube videos and I had to research for so long how to do it. So I'm happy to now be able to share my knowledge with you guys. I love making thumbnails. My thumbnails, literally I made one today for one of my videos, it's up by now. It's my 2021 fashion forecast or like my trend predictions for 2021. That thumbnail literally took me two hours to do. So my thumbnails, I do put a lot of hard work into thumbnails. I think that they're super important for getting views, getting clicks, getting people on your channel. Thumbnails are probably like the most important part of the entire video. So I'm happy to share with you guys how I make thumbnails or if you're a new YouTuber or you wanna become a YouTuber and you don't know how to make thumbnails, I am here to help you. So before I start out, the main app that I use is called Fonto. I would literally die without this app. I don't know what I would do without it. So shout out to Fonto. And I also use Pixar for this thumbnail as well. So I think those are the only two apps that I use. Like typically, sometimes I'll throw another app in there if I need to, but for the most part, those are the apps that I use. So that's all I need to say for this intro. So let's get right into making the thumbnail. So I'm gonna be opening up the app Fonto to make that fashion thumbnail I just showed you guys. So I'm gonna press plain images and click the white square and then change the size at the top um, to the size iPhone 8 Plus, which is just like the size for a YouTube thumbnail, iPhone 8 Plus. So then I'm gonna click on color and change the color to whatever your, I want. Today I'm going with a nice pink color, so I'm choosing pink. And then I'm going to save that photo. Now I'm gonna open up the app Pixar and take that uh, pink background photo that I just made in Fonto. I basically just use Fonto to get the sizing right. Now I'm clicking on add photo and picking a photo from my camera roll. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do like the outlines of the people. And I'm pressing the erase tool at the top and just erasing obviously everything, zooming in closer gets you like a better, more accuracy with the erasing. So I'm just going around and erasing the background. Super easy to do this on Pixar. Again, both of these apps are free, so no worries on that, and they do work on Android. Now I'm gonna be taking the brushes tool at the bottom and choosing the solid brush in the color white, and you can change the size as well, but I am just tracing around the picture to add a little more pop to it, and I'm gonna be doing this for all five of the um, outfit pictures that I have in the thumbnail, and then I will show you guys how that comes out. So I fast forwarded to finish all five of the people with the outlines and everything and I'm going to save this photo to my camera roll and then go and do the text back in the app Fonto. So once you get the picture in Fonto, you're gonna press the screen and click add text and obviously type out whatever text you want on your thumbnail. Then you can go to size and change the size of it and move it around and then also I went to style and I'm putting a stroke or an outline on the text. So I did a black outline and I increased the size of it so it's a little bit thicker. This just makes the text more prominent. I always usually do this on my thumbnails. You can also curve the text and there's just a, a bunch of different features that you can do on this app for the text and that's why I use Fonto for the text instead of PixArt. So I duplicated the text and I'm making it a lighter pink color and putting it behind it just to give it more dimension. And that's really it for the text. And this is the final product, the final thumbnail. So that's what it looks like. And now we are going to move on to another thumbnail. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a little bit of an easier thumbnail. So let's get into that one. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I make this and it's just using Fonto. We don't need PixArt for this one. This one is way easier. It literally takes like 30 seconds. So I just figured I would throw this one in as well if you wanted a more simple look for your thumbnails rather than like that really um, over the top kind of really edited thumbnail look. So let's get into it. Now I'm going to be teaching you guys how I make a more simple thumbnail. So I'm in Fonto again doing that same process of getting a white background and clicking iPhone 8 Plus for the size. Um, pressing use and then I am going to be importing two pictures. So this is going to be for my Addison Rae like cartoon transformation. 
And so I'm taking the original photo and then the photo that I doodled. And I'm just adjusting the size, obviously, so they fit perfectly in the YouTube thumbnail dimensions. So you can easily adjust the size on Fonto. And um, this thumbnail is going to be all done in Fonto. We don't need PixArt. And now I'm going to be adding some text. So same process as before. Just add the text by tapping in the screen. You can type out your text. There's a bunch of different fonts as well. I just always stick with this font. Um, but you can do any font and any color. And for this one, instead of doing a stroke or an outline around the text, I'm doing a white background just because there's a lot going on in the photos themselves. So I'll either do an outline or a white background. So that's what I'm doing for this. Um, just something to make the text stand out. You don't want your text to kind of like get lost in the picture. So that's a big tip is always do like a background or something on your text to make it stand out and use a good color that stands out as well. So here is the final thumbnail for you guys, and I have one more technique to show you, so let's get right into that one. So I want to show you guys Canva as well. If you go on canva.com, you can type in YouTube thumbnail, and it will bring up the exact size dimensions that YouTube thumbnail is. You can create a blank YouTube thumbnail, or they have literally so many like pre-made thumbnails. So if you're not really into doing all of that extra work like I was doing with Fonto and PixArt and stuff, Canva is a great option. They have amazing, amazing text options like different fonts and stuff. Um, you can customize it any way you want. Um, they have you can add pictures in they have a ton literally like thousands of different graphics and little like things to put on your thumbnails a bunch of different color options for backgrounds um so it's an amazing tool as well if you want to make thumbnails and you're not as like tech savvy or creative they have so many options on there for pre-made thumbnails but you can also customize them on there as well and again this is a free website that i use all the time so check that out as well if you want to I also made this thumbnail on Canva besides the text, like the green and white text I did do on Fonto, but the rest of it was done on Canva. So this one is a really, really complex thumbnail. I don't usually do as complex thumbnails like this, but I did make that on Canva. So I would give you guys a tutorial, but it's like when I tell you it's literally so easy to use Canva, it is so easy. So I'm sure you could, anyone could easily figure it out, but I want to show you guys that I did make that on Canva as well. Okay guys, that's it for the video. I hope that you learned something from this video. Learn how to make thumbnails in general or just learn how to make your thumbnails pop a little bit more, okay? I think it's so important to have good thumbnails, like literally so important. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. But yeah, if you don't follow me on Instagram, feel free to do that. I post lots of fun stuff on there. It's always a good time on my Instagram, so follow that if you would like. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. You got it, girl, you got it. No, baby, in a bag, in a burkin. No, not a pop, put the work in. Laws and no, I love them all for me and burkin. Baby, girl, you got it, girl, you got it, girl.